my little party animals, Hip Hip Renee here today with a brand new video for you. And this is actually video number one of two videos you will be receiving today. The first one that we are working on here, I will get into in a second. But the second video that you will see is a collab with two of my very good friends, Simmer Erin and Kitty Cat Plays with Yarn. It's really fun. I am super excited about this collab. So I hope that you guys pop by later so you can check that out along with this one. But we are, of course, starting with this apartment. So if you have been paying attention or watching my videos recently, I started a new series within a series, series -ception, if you will. So I am currently on the task of trying to rebuild every single world in The Sims, which is getting harder and harder because now we are getting another new world. <laughs> so I have just like more lots to be adding to this getting done. But I have been asking for all of like, you know, just the random places that I have been in as far as, you know, like Willow Creek, Newcrest, that kind of thing. I have been asking you guys to create Sims for me, whether it be single Sims, roommates, families, boyfriend, girlfriend, single mothers, single fathers, literally any type of Sim you would like to create. And I have been building houses specific to whatever family it is that you create. I've been doing this because I feel like it is a lot easier for me to stay on task when I am doing a build. If I have, you know, a specific type of family to be building for, I'm not sure if anybody else is like that. I know there's plenty of people who like to just go around and build whatever it is you feel like building that day, which is super cool. I love doing that. I love just going in and figuring out a build and just going to town on it. But with rebuilding all of the worlds, I really do want them to, you know, each world to be cohesive and make sense and have a really nice, rich and diverse community. And I feel like having you guys create the Sims for that is really making my worlds a little bit more diverse. Because of course, as Simmers, as much as we want to be, you know, as inclusive as possible, sometimes you get stuck in this is the type of family that I create or this is the type of household that I create and it ends up getting a little tough to kind of work outside that box. I notice a lot of my Sims tend to look very similar. I gravitate towards, you know, specific outfits or specific hairstyles. There's things that I like, things that I don't like, and some things that I just never really notice and I just kind of blow past and I don't really use them. That being said, while I am working on San My Shuno, I decided to go in a little bit of a different direction here. So I am creating all of the families for San My Shuno, and I'm doing it in a way that I am making as many very stereotypical Sims as possible. I want San My Shuno to be like that weird area where everybody has like a super crazy distinct personality and you know, maybe it's a little awkward and a little wonky. So this family that we are working on, it's not really a family, it's a group of roommates. The first one that we did was the Delta Pi fraternity house. And this is their next door neighbors, the Alpha Gamma sorority house. So we have a very stereotypical fraternity house and then we have a very stereotypical sorority house. All of them have their own little characters within each of these apartments and they are all very different, but definitely stereotypical type Sims you could definitely see in a sorority or in a fraternity or, you know, just having gone to college together and, you know, just been doing their thing together. So we are doing the sorority house today and I love, 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 love how this turned out. It's so bright, it's so fun, it's so colorful. I think the kitchen is my favorite area. I know we kind of already did it, but I really love that mint green color. My kitchen in real life is also mint green. So I have a little bit of a soft spot for mint green kitchens. And then I did bring in, again, just a ton of colors. So we have that nice purple on the wall that goes throughout the entire downstairs. And that really ties together in this living room where we have a lot of pinks and purples and grays and that kind of thing. 
And then the dining room that we did, again, already blow past has those really cute green chairs. They're very nice and light, almost kind of like a toned down lime green, if you will. And then these girls, of course, have a little bit of a deck outside. I didn't do, go too crazy out here. I don't know. Again, I think I mentioned this in my later video today that I just, I want some more outdoor activities. I'm not super excited about the ones that we have, especially for, you know, apartments and things like that. I do wish that I waited until the update today to build this because I think some lounge chairs outside would have been absolutely perfect, but... You know, it is what it is. I already built it. Maybe I'll go back in and give them some lounge chairs outside so the girls can sit outside and get some tans before they go on some vacation to, you know, Sulani when Island Living comes out. I keep wanting to call it Island Adventures because I've been playing so much Jungle Adventures. It's just that's not the name of it. <laughs> This bathroom up here, normally bathrooms are, you know, I try and keep them very generic, very simple. For some reason, I really like this bathroom. Like, I wish that my bathroom in my apartment looked even remotely similar to this bathroom. I think it's super cool. It looks really, really nice. I like the shape of it. I like all of the different colors. Again, I wanted to keep this one really nice and bright, but not like in your face bright, more of like an airy pastel -y kind of situation going on. And I think I did accomplish that. This first bedroom over here is the bedroom of the self-proclaimed pretty girl and the nerd. So <laughs> the pretty girl and the nerd live in the same room together. I kind of figured, you know, maybe these two formed a bond because the geeky smart girl maybe was like, you know, I'm having a little trouble trying to get boys and find boys or find girls maybe, who knows, maybe she hasn't quite discovered herself yet. And the pretty girl who normally, when you see like a movie or something like that and there's like the really pretty one, think like mean girls, like Regina George is not the nicest of people. I didn't really want to go super in that direction because <laughs> even though I'm doing stereotypes, I did want these girls to all get along and be really good friends. So I thought it was cute that I stuck those two together. And then these two other girls, I feel like they really made sense being in the same room together. So we have the wild child in this room, as you can tell from the crazy looking bed that we picked. And then her roommate is kind of the more sporty girl. I thought maybe they kind of went together a little bit more. Definitely a little bit more than the other two go together. I don't know. I feel like when I was in college, I mean, I didn't go to like a go away college. I went to a commuter college, but, you know, a lot of the sporty kind of girls hung out with a lot of guys and, you know, they went out and instead of drinking a margarita or a girly mixed drink, they were, you know, chugging down beers with the dudes. And then the wild child, obviously, she is definitely someone that uh, likes to go out, likes to party, likes to have some fun. So I thought putting those two together would be uh, just make a little bit more sense. Maybe they come home a little bit later. Maybe they bring people home more often. They're a little bit more amenable to, you know, hey, I'm going to take the room tonight. Can you sleep on the couch? <laughs> like they're, they're a little bit more tolerating of things like that than the other two girls are. But obviously this being an apartment, it was very short, very sweet, very simple and straight to the point. I have not uploaded this to the gallery yet. If you would like me to upload it to the gallery, please leave me a comment down below and I will upload each of the floors as two separate rooms so you can easily place them at, I believe it's 702 Zenview Apartments. I think the boys are in 701 Zenview. But if you did enjoy this build, please give it a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. If you're new here or you're not new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you get notifications every single time I post a new video. I will be back with you guys later on today with my collab with Simmer Aaron and Kitty Cat Plays with Yarn. I am super excited to get into it. It is another build for a group of roommates, so we're kind of doing like a roommate theme on the channel today. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for being here, and I will see you guys later on today. Bye!